um it's also a color gloss lip um color color damn Hey guys, I'm Rachel and today I'm sharing with you some of my favorite lip products to use for the summertime. So um, let's hop to it. <laughs> Okay guys, so I have about less than 12 lip products here in front of me. Um, most of them are very affordable with the exception of maybe three, um, but they're still affordable pricing. Um, I also have a little lip line, um, lip liner on my lips. I'm using the ColourPop BFF3 just to outline my lips a little bit more. And um, yeah, so in the summertime, I like reaching for products that are very easy to reapply. Don't feel too gloopy and lumpy on my lips and that are vivid. In the summer everything is hot so you want to keep everything simple at least for me and check out my my current summer foundation routine <laughs> good plugging <laughs> you like the way i plug that in yeah so yeah so i'm i'm check out my summer foundation routine all seriousness check it out um is the way i've been doing my makeup for the past three weeks and i'm loving it is the way i did my face today i used all a powder foundations yeah so um i strayed i strayed Okay, where was I? I said in the summer, I like using things that are just easy, on the go, simple eye looks, simple face makeup, simple lip products, things that just goes with the day and with the heat and I don't feel like everything on my face or my lips are suffocating. So I'm going to start with formulas and I'm going to start with glosses. And one of my glosses that I love is from Colourpop, very inexpensive as well. And this one comes in the shade Neat Freak very sheer gloss with a little bit of like um uh, iridescence to it so when the light the sun hits you it looks uh, very nice color pop lip glosses are very nice formulas and like i said it's very inexpensive as well this is a gloss however i personally do not use on its own i like using it over top some other opaque lip color but if you're someone who loves just a gloss like that then i just want to show you what it would look like if you was to wear a gloss like that you know it's very very sheer light color but gives you a nice reflex when you're out in the sunlight and i do have um i did line my lip as i mentioned with the bff3 lip line you can also fill your entire lips in with a lip liner if you want this to be more opaque and if you want it to maybe last longer that's an option that you can use for this for um lip glosses that are so sheer okay so i tried to wipe this off i'm just using paper towel to wipe this off and my lips may suffer at the end of this video the next one is a Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. This one is the first one that the first shade that she came out with. And I love this color as well. Of course, it's more expensive than the ColourPop one, but ColourPop have amazing glosses. I'm pretty sure you can find some dupe to this one. But this gloss is perfect. It's not gloopy, it's not sticky, it just stays on your lips and it has more color, more color payout than the first one that I tried. This one again is the one I like to use to put over top other lip products because I just like the color of these two shades, the ColourPop one and the Fenty one. They are not too opaque so they don't change the color of my lipsticks too much and I like that. Sometimes I just don't want my color to be too manipulated with the lip gloss that I'll put over top. So using these two shades is just perfect so I prefer to use them to mix or to lay over top lip lipsticks but you can totally use them on their own. The next one is my MAC Lip Glass in Girl About Town. It's a nice pink. And I did mention that lip, this pink one in my Boy Beat. It's just perfect for days when you don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup. Um, I personally use it on days when I'm um, not wearing any makeup at all. Of Like I said, my Boy Beat. Very, very little makeup. Maybe just my brows are done. Um, little um, mascara and stuff like that. I use this for the gym when I do go to the gym. I applied quite a bit, but you can use your fingers or just a little and share it out even more. Or you can even mix it with like a clear gloss like this if you want to create something that's more sheer and um, thinned out. Also, I feel like you can get away with using it with a very glam look as today I am wearing makeup and it looks so, so nice with the look that I'm wearing right now. So it's very, very um, universal. You can use it any way you'd like. And of course, there's nothing left to say about MAC lip formula, um, lip, lipsticks and their lip glosses. It's amazing. The, flum, the formula is great. But since we're on like more opaque lip glosses and stuff like that, um, I, I want to mention NYX. 
makes good lip glosses and they do have a more opaque formula as well. Um, then LA Girl, the lip, um, LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint. These ones are nice and they have a ton of colors. I don't have any bright colors in it, I'm a nude girl. And of course, the Wet and Wild Liquid Cat Suits. They call this um, High Shine Lipsticks. They are very, very opaque, but I don't have any bright colors in those. I like nude colors. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So, but they do have a shade range in these and they're very nice as well. Very high shine keep your lips moisturized throughout the day so just in case you don't have any of these that i mentioned these are very inexpensive affordable options as well that you can check out okay so the next one i want to speak about is a lipstick it's from l'oreal is the colorish um l'oreal colorish shine now these are so good it's like a mixture of a lip gloss and a lipstick i have mine in the shade 906 burnish blush and it's a nice pink and it feels like a lip gloss between a mix of a lip gloss and a lipstick so it's a very uh, shine you have really nice shine it lasts well it keeps your lips moisturized of course with lip products like these you have to reapply more often and that's what i like about them that they're very easy to reapply they're fuss free i love these these come in a couple of shades as well i'm pretty sure anyone in any skin tone can find a shade to fit them um but i love this one 906 it's perfect that's all I can say. The formula is great. It's not sticky. It stays on your lips. It's just wonderful. Now moving on to a formula that's more lip sticky, <laughs> but it's still easy. It's very lightweight. And I recently discovered the MAC Powder Kiss Lipsticks. And these ones are amazing. They're awesome. Amazing. I have the color Work, Work, Work. And um, as you can see, it's very very um sheer but it packs color on and it's a very very lightweight formula so it's very lightweight and it's very very buildable like it doesn't matter how much i apply it doesn't get it doesn't look cracky it doesn't look loopy it doesn't look lumpy it just applies so nice it's like a nice sheer wash of color and i love the formula of this and i think they're perfect perfect for the summer or just anytime you choose to wear it but for me the summer it's great it's red they come in tons of different colors it's just a beautiful beautiful product it dries down a little more matte but there's still like a little gloss to it that's the best way i can explain it but it's mm, it's amazing perfect so it's the mac powder kiss lipsticks and i have mine in work 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 all right so my lips are just looking all types of crazy so i'm gonna apply some more lip liner to this the next formula I want to talk about is the Colourpop Ultra Blotted Lips. These are really, really nice as well. I have the shade Just a Crush. I have a couple, but um, the one I love for the summer is Just a Crush. It's a pink. This one, again, is very similar to the MAC one, but it dries down a bit matter than the MAC one that I just used. And it's buildable as well, and it doesn't get doesn't look cracky and it doesn't just look ugly on your lips at the end of the day the only thing again with this one is it's of a drier a more um it's of a drier formula it does get sort of really dry on your lips so i would recommend if that happens and you're probably uncomfortable with the feeling of it being so dry to apply a lip gloss over top but this you feel like you're wearing nothing they last pretty well and they're very very easy to reapply that's what i want in the summer everything with ease so there we have it, the Colourpop Ultra Blots, Colourpop Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Just a Crush. Okay, so it stained my lips a bit, but we're moving on. <laughs> the next one I want to talk about is the L'Oreal um, L'Oreal Paris Signature Lips, and I have the one in the shade, if I can see it, I represent. This one again comes in tons of different colors. I actually have a couple in these as well. Uh, it's very lightweight, as you can see. Very buildable. They last pretty well on the lips, and it's like the same thing like the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lips. They tend to be drying on the lips after they stay so long. But of course, you can apply a lip gloss over top, or you can apply some sort of like um, the lipstick that I mentioned earlier, the L'Oreal Colorish lipstick, you can actually apply um, maybe of a different color over top. It will bring moisture back to your lips, keep your lips looking shiny and stuff, but still keep the longevity of the lipstick underneath because these last really well. I just love, love, love the formula of that. So if you're someone who loves like a liquid lip, but you don't want um, the two extra drying um, property of a liquid lip and something that's just more lightweight on your lips, the L'Oreal Signature 
line is really really good damn i have a lot of l'oreal products in here the other one i have this one for so long it's the l'oreal infallible pro gloss something i would leave the name in the description box these ones they come in a lot of colors as well and i have mine in aphrodite kiss this one is more opaque and it doesn't dry down to such a matte matte finish lip lines are getting very messy the formula is slightly different um like they, like they said it's like a pro matte gloss so you have what well, it dries on to matte but it's not very matte it's more comfortable and it's less drying on the lip as compared to the others to so the l'oreal um signature one and the ColourPop blotted lips it's more moisturizing at the end of the day and they last pretty well as well and they're also very easy to apply if you noticed most of the colors are very similar but they're all about the formula for me and what I'm feeling or vibing that day. They all bring some sort of different element to my makeup look whenever I choose to grab for either one of the formulas. Um, so yeah, so this one is Aphrodite Kiss in the L'Oreal Pro Matte Gloss uh, line. My lips are totally stained. <laughs> I have two more left. The next one is the Remel Stay Satin Lip Colors. The, the Rimmel Stay Start Lip Stay Start in Lip Line and I have my color in Scrunchy. This formula, let me apply it. So an easy way to apply, like I did, you apply to the bottom of your lips and you, you blot to the top to share it out and to have a more even distribution of the color. I find like this works best for this formula, particularly like applying a shit ton on the top and bottom lip doesn't work. Just um, very little to your bottom, to your bottom lip, and blot to the top, and just fix the edges and stuff. It works better for this formula, and this is a stay satin. So what that means is, is like doesn't dry down as matte as a liquid lip. So if you're someone who like who doesn't like liquid lips, the the satin liquid lips I would recommend. Um, a couple brands make them. They are not as drying as a liquid lip, but they have the opacity and they have the longevity as a liquid lip, but um, with a satin finish as it says it's just more comfortable to wear on the lips so the remel ones are really really nice and last but not least one of my favorite favorite colors to wear in the summer and it is surprise surprise from ColourPop is the ultra satin lip very comparable to the one that i just used and it's in the color revere it is such a beautiful color. I love oranges in the summer. Oh, oh my God. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. So I applied it to my bottom lip and I'm going to blot the top. Like I said, I feel like these, that technique works best for those sort of formulas. So I blot the top and I'm just going to go in with the wand and neaten up where I feel like I need to. Instead of applying both top and bottom, bottom lip and blot to the top to get the pair that you want. Now, um, I love this color and I do have a couple of ultra satin lip from Colourpop as well. However, sometimes I feel like um, all products are not created equal because I have other formulas in this, the same um, satin lip and they are slightly different from this one. And I sometimes feel like it's because of the color, like this rich um, red, um, orangey color, they're, they're probably different to formulate. So it does feel a bit sticky on the lip. It doesn't dry down as matte as the others or as comfortable as the others in my opinion. I feel like I always feel like it's there. But regardless, it is a nice color and I do like the formula, but this one in particular, I don't know, I think something went wrong with it, but I love, love, love the color. As you can see, look at it. It just stays sort of sticky, which I do not like, but the color is amazing. So I don't know if it's just my color or just this color in general, but they do have a, a range of stay of, um, they do have a wide range of satin lips. So you could find a color, um, that would be suitable for you and your skin to know what it is that you would love to wear in the summertime. Um, but this is what I, um, rocking i love oranges in the summer i love pinks and that's it 
it does look a little bit messy, but my lips are suffering right now. But you get the idea of what it is I love. Um, my favorite lip products in the summertime. Um, if you probably find a formula that's like what I explained, like if you like it's like this, you could put a lip gloss over top, of course, if you want to man manipulate the color a little bit more. Um, so that's that's it. I love, 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 love this color. I love it so much. And sometimes I feel like they don't even come through uh, well on 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 camera. Like the lightings and stuff washes them off so much, but they look so much more beautiful in person. So excuse my lip lines and stuff like that. But um, so that's it. That's my favorite summer lip products at the moment. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps and I really appreciate it. Help me grow here on this platform. So yes, everything I use, all the blue products that I've mentioned will be in the description box. So be sure to check that out. Um, all my social media links and how to book me. I am a nail tech and stuff out here in Brooklyn. So let's continue to touch the world one face at a time. And until then, I'll see you in my next tutorial on Sunday. Bye guys.